Oh, you startled me. Didn't see you there. My name is <laughs> my name is Ryan Harwick. I'm a network administrator at Maximum IT in beautiful, gorgeous, voluptuous Burlington, Ontario. And as I walk the streets of Burlington, as I like to do on occasion, people will stop me in the street and they will say to me, Ryan, how do I add a Gmail account to Outlook 2010? Well, today is your lucky day, my friend, because I'm going to show you that. And it is so easy, even my five-month-old daughter could do it. In fact, if I were to sit in front of my computer right now, one of two things would most likely happen. One, she might drool uncontrollably, which she likes to do. Can't complain about that. Or two, she might add a Gmail account to Outlook 2010. Those are the two outcomes. So without further ado, let's get started. So to launch Outlook, I'm just going to click on the Start Orb, come here, All Programs, Microsoft Office, and click on Outlook 2010. It's going to launch it up, and you'll see on the left-hand side I have a number of different email accounts I've already added. Interesting. Anyway, so I have my Ryan at MaximumIT.ca, Ryan at FlexIT Solutions, a Hotmail account, and another Gmail account I've already added. But I'm going to add yet another Gmail account to this list, because I'm a bit of a cowboy like to live life on the edge. And in order to do that, the first thing I need to do is click on File up here in the top left. Click. And under that, I need to come here to the Info section, and I need to use this Add Account button that I'm massaging ever so gently with my mouse here. So I click on Add Account. It launches the Add New Account wizard, and then I just need to enter in some information. So I have to put my name in here, There we go. The email address I would like to add. And of course, my password. And I always recommend for Gmail and accounts in general that you choose a more secure password. Getting your email account hacked is actually happening very frequently nowadays. So I recommend choosing a password that has upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and alphanumeric characters like, you know, the dollar symbol or the percentage sign or something like that as well. And then all I have to do is click on Next. And what's actually going to happen, the beautiful thing about Outlook 2010 that brings a tear to my eye, is that it's going to actually go out on the internet and try to auto-configure these settings for me. So I just, based on its, the email address I've given it and the password, it's going to do the rest. So I'm going to click on Next. And you can see Online Search for Your Server Settings. Beautiful. So it's establishing a network connection. Uh, make sure we have internet connectivity. Searching for the maximum docs at gmail.com server settings. So Outlook's going over to the internet and be like, Yo, internet, where my Gmail be at? And Gmail's like, I'm over here, boy. Well, maybe it doesn't happen exactly like that, but that's basically what's going on in actuality. So it's, it found those server settings, which is great, and then it was able to log on to the server and test an uh, send a test email message and you can see Microsoft says congratulations well thank you Microsoft that just warms my heart it's telling me that my email account is successfully configured awesome so I'm gonna click finish and then this account is gonna get added to the bottom of my list here when I just scroll down uh oh Outlook's a little frozen <laughs> we'll just wait for that to come back should just take a second here just going to pause the video while that's happening. And we're back. And uh, Outlook just kind of unfroze itself there. Probably Microsoft punishing me for my sassiness. But, you know, what can I say? I'm sassy. It's not going away, Microsoft. It's not going away. So you can see on the bottom here, MaximumDocs at gmail.com has been added. And in my inbox here, if I click on that, you can see, oh, look, I have a Microsoft Outlook message. It's a test message saying that the email sent... Uh, was this email is sent by Microsoft automatically so testing the settings for my account which is great so looks like I can send and receive email which is good so let's say I want to send email from MaximumDocs at gmail.com instead of using Ryan at MaximumIT.ca if I were to click on new email in the top left here what I can do is actually change the from drop down so once I do that click on from and then click on MaximumDocs at gmail.com so that's all I would need to do. And now if I were to you know, type in a person's email and subject in a message, it would actually um, send the email from MaximumDocs at gmail.com instead.
Now you'll notice one thing that happened. I did have a signature on the bottom of the screen there that you may have seen briefly and it disappeared. So this is something that we need to often set up as well. So you might say, oh crap, now my signature is not attached to this email account. How do I attach a signature to that account? Well, let me show you that as well. A little bit of bonus material. So I'm going to close this window. It's going to ask me if I want to save. I'm going to say no. Click on that. Click on file again. Come back up to the file tab. Go down to options this time. And then on the left, there's a little section called mail. And on the right, there's a little button called signatures. And then from here, I need to choose the email account that I want to work with for signatures. So I'm going to choose my MaximumDocs at gmail.com. And you can see I don't have a signature currently configured. So I can actually go in my drop down and choose my maximum signature if I want. Okay, Or I could add a new signature if I wanted to as well by clicking on new and typing in what I'd like to type on the bottom there. That's pretty much it. And then I would just click on OK and then OK again. And we're good to go. Okay, so now if I come down here, let's say, and I use my maximum doc, so I go new email and I choose maximum docs at gmail.com, you can see my signature is right there. Awesome. So that's pretty much it. That's how you add a Gmail account to Outlook. And I hope you found this informative, and I'd like to thank you for watching.